I'm joined now by uh, Coral Frieden, founder and CEO of Halom. Coral, thank you so much for joining us right now. I want you to first just tell us a little bit about Halom. What exactly is the organization? Sure. So first of all, Halom stands for two things in Hebrew. Halom is a dream, but also the abbreviation is for like a hotline for all the citizens who are in crypto need for emotional support. So on the 7th, me being a PTSD uh, myself, um, I just wrote the simple idea of helping people. And within hours, we already had two WhatsApp groups. We have o over 1,000, 1,500 citizens receiving help as we speak. We have over 400 psychologists and um, clinical workers just waiting to answer from all over the world. So we connect between the caregivers and the citizens them themselves to answer all the questions and everything they need emotional support right away. You mentioned you yourself suffer from PTSD. Uh, how has this all impacted you? And, and tell us a little bit about your own personal story. Right, so I lived in the States when I was younger. Um, there was an earthquake in 94, but um, the most traumatizing thing was my uh, when I was a paramedic in the Army. Uh, it was quite a long time ago, but PTSD is something that I live with every day, and I just knew that when this happened, this horrific thing happened, the world was gonna be, uh, was gonna act in three ways, flight, flight, flight freeze, or fight. And so I immediately knew I had to fight and it's very difficult to navigate between being a CEO in a very large organization and still having PTSD. But I think that's like our secret weapon is, you know, Israelis that we're very, very strong and connected. And we live through things like this, you know, every day, not in this caliber, um, but definitely it makes us stronger and we have to navigate through it as much as we can. You mentioned something, which is the unfortunate reality that Israelis have experienced many different terror attacks, many different acts of hate against them. However, as one, what you're seeing is the grief and the trauma this time different than in the past. Absolutely. First of all, I think um, we need to, as an organization, we have so much work in, ahead of us because right now people are still in survival mode. And so right now we're giving um, emotional support, you know, as much as we can right now. Um, we've never seen this kind of caliber. Um, I'm telling you, every three to five minutes, we get a parent saying that their daughter is throwing up, they can't sleep, they can't function properly. I'm not talking about, you know, working or anything that, um, that the mind has evolved. We're talking about like simple things. And I think um, we're doing the best we can. We have, everybody's volunteering, nobody's getting paid right now. And we feel like collectively the grief that we can't even you know go over the grief right now because we're in such survival mode um i assume the grief will come sooner maybe four to five months when we'll kind of you know go into a different mode of, of grieving it will be different we are in survival mode right now and i think that makes it even more difficult to even access our, our grief and our trauma. So when looking for help, is it the best time to do it now? Or do we need to keep pushing forward because we are still in this active state of war and reflect on the tragedies later? What's the healthiest option? That's a really good question. Many people think um, that they can turn to anyone to find help. But the truth is when you, find, when you have trauma, you need to act pretty fast and go to the right people. Um, we offer psych clinical psychologists and social workers that special their specialty is in trauma. So I encourage people do not wait because then it escalates. Um, you need to find the help right away. We have an online 24 seven help, um, different ages, different uh, languages, if you want to uh, text. So we have all these different options and not to wait because the, the moment we wait, it escalates and then it becomes a lot harder to take care of. And you can see all of those resources on your screen right now. Uh, Coral Frieden, founder and CEO of Halom, thank you so much for coming and, and sharing the ways that people can and should be getting help right now. Thank you.